the recent cyber attacks on the Democratic Party. Former world chess champion Gary Kasparov is chairman of the Human Rights Foundation and author of the book, Winter is Coming, Why Vladimir Putin and the Enemies of the Free World Must be stopped. So, Gary, welcome back. Good to Thanks have you here. So, uh, the U.S., let's talk about the intelligence uh, accusation first, saying that uh, the Russians were responsible for the hacking. Do you think that Putin must have known that this was going on? Uh, I think Putin was behind it. I think nobody would ever consider, you know, hacking U.S. elections without Putin's direct orders. Russia is a dictatorship. It's a one-man show. And I believe Putin is, is looking for every opportunity to spread chaos. And uh, um, supporting Trump is one story, but also um, creating uncertainties about the process, the entire democratic process in the United States could be his biggest victory. So, this, so he would take the risk of hacking American election processes just to, just to create the mayhem, doubt, uh, consternation, and uh, not less, maybe that more important than, than supporting one of the candidates. Look, it's naturally he prefers Trump. He does. Because, Why? Because Trump is an agent of chaos. Trump talks about, you know, undermining NATO and uh, basically, you know, uh, reneging on right. U.S. and alliances around the world. And also Trump was viewed by uh, many of American allies and general public uh, uh, as someone who, um, he's, who is not stable. That's what Putin needs uh, in America and elsewhere. So, but, but but he also would, if, if somehow we're a close election and we had a debate and people thought, oh, somebody stole it, he'd love that. Oh, that's, that would be the, the sort of ideal scenario for Putin. If he can uh, create, you know, like a Florida recount conflicts uh, across the country, in Ohio, in Florida, in, in Virginia, in uh, uh, Michigan, in, in Nevada, people complaining about, for instance, their names being erased erased accidentally from, from the database. All right, so what will be the reaction from Putin, the Kremlin, and inside Russia to this American accusation? Oh, uh, it's, you know, they simply deny everything. Putin reached a stage where he doesn't care what America says, doesn't what care. Europeans, uh, Europeans' allies say. It's all about the story he sells on Russian television. Let's not forget, for Putin, this foreign policy uh, aggressive act is a part of his domestic campaign to, to present himself as the sort of Iron Fist leader who is defying everybody, including, especially, the United States. All right, so let's move to Syria. They're introduced now anti-air, um, uh, the anti-aircraft uh, weapons into Syria. They're consolidating. They have not stopped the bombing. Uh, uh, what is he trying to do there? No, Syria was an attempt, actually, to um, uh, uh, bring attention from Ukraine, where actually Putin failed to achieve his proclaimed goals of annexing, you know, one sort of the country. Pick another uh, front. Yeah, and, and uh, now we just saw Syria as another opportunity to defy America and to demonstrate that despite Obama's claims five years ago, let's not forget, Assad must go, Assad stays in. It's a very important message, both for Russians and also for, you know, people around the world, showing that Putin is in the position to keep his ally, no matter how bad his ally, you know, it's a war criminal, keeping him in the office at any cost. So we had a major general, Russian major general, essentially say, threaten the United States, saying, we can shoot down any planes, American planes. Why not? If you, well, if you attempt to do any bombing of Assad's positions. But it, 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 it's a part of intimidation campaign. But I haven't, I haven't, I don't recall that for a long time, that kind of a direct threat. Look, they have been intimidating the Secretary of State, John Kerry, for four years. Fair enough, but, yeah, but that's, that's a different that's, standard no, than but threatening it, to shoot down but American that's, that's aircraft. that's what happens, escalation, you know, this is the, they're already losing the sense of reality. They, they created this the parallel picture, parallel reality on Russian TV, and eventually they believe that America is just, you know, is a covered, and Paper America will, will retreat, no matter what they say, no matter what they do. What about John Kerry's uh, 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 saying that they need to have a war crimes investigation? Okay, Mean anything at all? It's okay. I would say it's too little too late, but it's better late than never. But I don't believe that this administration uh, will move in, in, a, in a, what, few months, uh, uh, the remaining in the office. Uh, a bomb foreign policy is, is absolute disaster, you know. It brought us to almost to the verge of the war. And unfortunately, you know, during this campaign, you know, instead of talking about real issues and about, uh, about exposing the, the failure of, of, of this administration, I mean, we are consumed with some scandals. And uh, do you think that uh, there'll be, and that oh, Putin would like to use the next three months to get as much more territory and consolidate Assad's position in Syria as oh, he can? I think now he's still waiting to see the outcome, but it seems that Trump is sliding, so that's why, you know, recognizing that Hillary would be in the office and after everything they did, and especially the trauma of this reset 
failed policy. Right. I think Putin will, will, will do absolutely everything he can, not only in Syria. Let's not forget that it's just a, the, the puppet parliament, the Russian parliament, just now uh, announced after you know, confirming the Russian military base in Syria that they will consider to reopen the Russian uh, the military bases in Vietnam and Cuba. And that's a direct provocation of the United States and well, Cuba. Absolutely. No they will keep it. provoking the United States because Putin has no other means of demonstrating his, his strengths inside Russia. And your advice to the next president would be you need to be much more forceful and stop it. Look, I still hope that this administration will do something. I mean, not to just to leave everything, you know, in, 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 um, uh, in, in, in pieces, in debris uh, uh, after leaving the office, because every day, you know, counts. You know, while Obama cares about his image, you know, and his legacy, you know, there are hundreds of thousands of people at, at risk in Syria, and the entire political um, equation in Europe and the United States could be at risk as well. Is at risk. Gary Kasparov, thank you very much for being here. Appreciate it. Still ahead, as Donald Trump and Hillary.